laps only count. Green flag, and Edwards spun the tires, but still got a good jump. But it stacked the entire inside line up. They were starting to jack each other up off the racetrack. Boy, I tell you what, all of a sudden we got a new player, guys. The one car there. Oh, oh Reagan! And around goes Reagan, and oh my goodness. I think Reed Sorensen in the 41 car, and will fly. I think he may have got a little bit of Reed Sorensen in the 41 cars. He tried to squeeze. I don't know, Larry. I, I, I'm not sure if he did or not. Keep rolling here, if you can. 41 squeezed through really there. I know that. The Coming to you guys. So we're under caution. Yeah, My understanding is go. this lap does yeah. not count. There's the damage on Reed Sorensen. Yeah. <laughs> Big move by Martin Truex. Now remember how NASCAR scores at caution flags. When the caution waves, they revert back to the last scoring loop crossed by these cars, so Truex will hold on to second spot. Watch the six. Same place over there. At, uh, we've seen some action already. Just gets loose with a one car on the outside. Just sucks him around, and the 41 almost squeezed to, uh, but didn't quite make it. And, Daryl, I think you heard him tell Jimmy Finney he was real loose on the bottom, and as you mentioned, that car up there on the outside, it just pulls it around. David Reagan with a good bit of damage here. Had a good race car. Oh, and Reed Sorensen, yeah, that Reed's, was no light hit. Reed almost squeezed through there, but just didn't quite make it. You can see he hit him with the left front fender just a little bit. He's going to limp around to pit road. So Martin Truex Jr., the Bush Series champion, will go to second place. And uh, Dick, he has at least one member on his team who is no stranger to bright lights and big games. Uh, indeed, Mike. The men who go over the wall on pit stops are all in remarkable shape. In addition to regular weekly pit practice, they are on workout schedules developed especially for their pit stop jobs. Several of these are athletes from other sports. Jeff Carr jacks Martin Truax car at 6'4 and 235. But I think that's the movement we're seeing with these pit crews. They're no, no longer just the mechanics working on the race car. They're athletes that their main deal with the race team is the pit crew. Mark that down, Larry, what team those guys are on, because I don't want them to get mad at me about anything. <laughs> we don't want to say anything <laughs> bad about their pit no, stops. write that down. Well, Jimmy Elledge fared a little better in the crew chief race earlier, the Cobalt Tools crew chief challenge. Then Reed Sorensen is right now. Sorensen was an interested observer then, as he is at the moment. He can just watch the crew as they try to effect repairs and get him back out there. Now let's show you again what happened to the 41 as Sorensen tried to drive through a spinning David Reagan. There's the target car about to be the bullseye. I tell you, he did a great job, though. I mean, he could have panicked right here and gotten himself in big trouble. That's a really light contact knocked the back fascia off of the six car did minor damage to his car but enough to put him in the pits it was about the only choice he had oh yeah he's lucky he didn't get pinned in there and just tore the car to pieces one to go 